it's a short list of men and women who have held UFC belts simultaneously in two divisions, and God damn it, DC, you're on that list, man. Let's see how it goes for you here tonight, though. You're the underdog. I'm one of the blessed ones, John, to have been able to accomplish the things that I've accomplished, but it's taken a lot of hard work. Really focus on the striking, the grappling, having a great team at the American Kickboxing Academy, and as I walk to the octagon tonight, I am trying to show all the work that I have put in and hope that it's enough to get the hand raised once again inside the UFC's octagon. It is amazing to think that you didn't get your start in mixed martial arts until you were 31 years old. And one thing I've always said about you, even if it hasn't been the greatest training camp of your life, you have a penchant for rising to the occasion. There's something about fight night and those bright lights that once you sort of flip that switch, you're able to excel when a lot of guys fall. I'm a competitor from yeah. the octagon to Madden. I just want to uh -huh. win. Well, a special feel in this arena tonight for more reasons than one, but of course, the centerpiece is the former two-division UFC champion, the future Hall of Famer, Conor McGregor, returning to the proven ground here tonight. He fought three times in 2016, just once in 2018. Everybody's excited to see what version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. There are more Irish flags in the building <laughs> than you'll find anywhere in the United States of America. <laughs> and it's all for the notorious one. Conor McGregor has taken his country put it on his back and rode it to superstardom. He is a fantastic fighter, has really good takedown defense, which allows him to keep the fights on the feet where guys are always in danger. You're constantly in danger whenever you're fighting Conor McGregor because the moment you attack, that counter left hand is like a piston and he can shut your lights out with one strike. Yeah, that McGregor counter left hand, truly one of the best weapons in mixed martial arts today. A master when it comes to movement and distance management and also just rising to the occasion, right? When all eyeballs are on him, and you've experienced this as well, the ability on fight night to shine. All the distractions, Connor is able to shut him out, and he goes into the octagon, is focused, and always gets the job done. Tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Presenting the challenger, Daniel D.C. Cormier! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Veteran Herbert Dean, ready, our ready. referee for this one. Ready. Go All right, here we go. Another big night for the MMA leader from Las Vegas, Nevada's T-Mobile Arena. Been a lot of seminal moments in this world. I think number one, it was a big one for the UFC team decision. But John, also UFC team, I got this hand across the cage from Anderson Silva in that arena. This is a... We'll see if he tries to change levels here. Trips his opponent with the ankle pick. An ankle pick takedown. We're so used to seeing singles, doubles, high crossing. When an ankle pick is hit, you applaud the guy doing the technique. Nice move in the half guard. Shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that goal. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job, Pass. Get them out here. You gotta be careful here. Posture is 
is up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Three minutes to go. Oh, he's attacking Joe now. Ooh, that looks tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. Cormier's has got full mount now. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. McGregor's in half goal. Where are your hands? Now he's going full mount. He's got to be careful here. Good work from the top here by Cormier. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. That was a slick transition. Cormier's right back to the full match. He's got to start throwing down. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by DC. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Cormier is able to flatten him out. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, in the mouth. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Horn sound for the end of round one. Let's look back at some of the action, DC. Your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his ground and pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his approach in that ground and Ready. pound sequence. Ready. All right, second round underway. Pretty good straight punch there by Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know what to do. One, five, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, big left hook there. He's hurting the bad man. That right hook is nasty. Ooh, what a punch. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Nice little short up right there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Lands to the body. Just over three minutes to go. Hands high, hands high. Oh, oh, shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Oh. Alright, well he rocked him pretty good, but he didn't sort of smell blood in the water now as a part of that. I mean blood's in the water. You gotta go with this. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let it go. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive push to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Cormier goes in for the takedown now and he gets it. Beautiful transition there. And he was getting worked on the feet, so a nice job to get the fight to the ground. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Nice. 
Will Gregor get work here from the top? You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Nice job by him to still be a threat off of his back. Cormier ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Great shot from the top position. My crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his horn to hurt very bad. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, it got to be kind of fun to strut your way back to the stool. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough you to that your chin is. Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. Good punch lands. Tonight, as he pounds him out for the TKO, I'm hoping I get an invite to the after party. We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 24 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Daniel DC.